Good morning, friends. <coughs> so today I'm going to deal with probability definition. So in probability, two more types, namely probability distribution of random variable and one more type that is binomial distribution of random variable. Okay. Now today I am going to deal with the last but one type probability distribution of random variable. In this type, they will be asked one question. It may be one mark or two mark. Two mark guarantee question. Now here the definition of probability distribution of random variable that is nothing but probability of each outcome. Same definition. You know the definition of probability of each of each outcome. What is that? That S C is the sample space consisting of n number of elements, isn't it? For each element belongs to real number, there exists a real number x i in general x i such that that probability of x i rise between zero and one, and sum of all probabilities must be equal to one. That is known as probability of each outcome x i. Same concept here also. Now here. The probability distribution of random variable x. Now where x is equal to consisting of n number of elements. Now these are each probabilities. P of x1, P of x2, P of x1, P of x2. Now two conditions are satisfied. What are those two conditions? Condition number one. Each probability P of x1 should be more than or equal to zero. Either equal to zero or more than or equal to zero. So P of x i, where i is equal to one, two, three, four, and so on. Yeah. For example, P of x one more than zero or equal to zero. P of x two more than or equal to zero, like that. And second condition, sum of all probabilities. That is summation of P of x i. I is equal to one to n sigma means sum of all probabilities. That is P of x one. Plus p of x two, plus p of x three, plus p of x four, and so on. Sum of all probabilities must be equal to one, not not more than one, not less than one, exactly one. If these two conditions are satisfied, then it is said to be probability distribution of random variable. Remember, if there are two conditions satisfied, or two out of two conditions, any one condition fail. If there is only one one condition satisfied any longer, then it is not probability distribution of random variable. If there are only two conditions satisfied, if there are only one one condition fail any longer, that is not probability distribution of random variable. Clear? No. Remember two conditions namely each probability should be. More than or equal to zero, and sigma of p of x i r is equal to one to n. Means sum of all probabilities must be one. Those two conditions are satisfied. Then it is said to be probability distribution of random variable. Clear, friends? Okay. Based on this, to solve simple problems. Okay. Now look here. Problem number one. There is one more question problem. Problem may be easy, but solution is simple. Read it carefully. An urn contains urn means box. An urn contains yes. Problem number one. An urn contains five red and two black balls. A box contains five red and two black balls. Okay. Two balls are randomly selected. Two balls are randomly selected. Let X represent the number of black balls. X represent X in the number of number of black balls. Now the question is, what are the possible values of X? Our X is X represent number of black balls. Now how many balls are taken? Only two balls are taken. Totally. Five and two, seven balls. Among seven balls, two balls are drawn. Here the ball is not picked one. Randomly selected. Let like X represent number of black balls. Here the ball picked one. Here the ah ball. Here we are going to pick one black ball. So what are the possible values of X? No, really, here the ball is not picked one. Two balls are drawn randomly. And found it. No, really. 
ಎರಡು ಪಾಲ್ ಬ್ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಎರಡು ಪಾಲ್ ಬ್ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಬರದೇ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಎರಡು ಪಾಲ್ ರೆಡ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಸೊ ಪಾಸಿಬಿಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಟೂ ಬಾಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪಿಕ್ ಬೋತ್ ದಾಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ರೆಡ್ ಆರ್ ಒನ್ ಬಾಲ್ ರೆಡ್ ಒನ್ ಬಾಲ್ ಬ್ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಆರ್ ಲೆಕ್ಕಿ ಬೋತ್ ದ ಬಾಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಬ್ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಫೇಲ್ ಡೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ 
it is not probability distribution out of two condition any one condition does not exist then it is said to be it is not probability distribution clear what about third one third one check money Great part. E is probability of the money 0.6. Clearly, 0.6 is more than or equal to 0. 0.1 more than 0. 0.2 more than 0. First condition satisfied. Clearly, E is probability should be more than or equal to 0. And second condition of satisfied on the report. A more sum of all probabilities. P of that x equal to minus 1. Plus P of that x equal to 0. Plus P of that x equal to 1. E is equal to. P of that x equal to minus 1, 0.6, here 0.1, here 0.8, sorry 0.2. How much? 0 0.6, 0 0.2, 0 0.8, 0 0.1, 0 0.9, which is not equal to 1. First condition okay, but second condition does not exist. That is for all the other ways, but we have another one per way too. But here, 0.10, which is not equal to 1, therefore, therefore, it is not probability distribution of random variable it is not probability distribution in the algorithm and second condition does not exist ok now what about four part four question only each probability of the only two conditions are satisfied here we 0.3 more than or equal to 0 0.2 more than or equal to 0 0 0.4 more than or equal to 0 0 0.1 more than or equal to 0 then 0 0.05 is also more than or equal to 0 clearly first condition is satisfied p of x i is more than or equal to 0 what about second condition check money second condition is a summation of p of x i add all things that is p of x equal to 3 now p of x equal to 2 then p of x equal to 1 and p of x equal to 0 plus p of x equal to minus 1 that equals p of x equal to 3 value 0 0.3 p of 2 value 0 0.2 p of 1 is 0 0.4 p of 0 is 0 0.1 p of minus 1 is 0 0.05 and what is the value 3 plus 2 5 5 plus 4 9 point nine plus point one one plus zero one zero point zero five how much one point zero five over five okay which is not equal to one more than one nine two it's clear about two sum of all probabilities must be equal to one but here second condition does not exist therefore <coughs> it is not probability distribution probability distribution and the one day probability of outcome and the one day the root condition satisfied after matter it is known as probability of each outcome satisfied and all of that is not a probability that is the condition okay dear students they will ask one or two more questions okay <coughs> yes next problem problem number three that is two more question the question was asked in previous year. Two cars are drawn successively with replacement from a well shuffled pack of 52 playing cards. Now the question find the probability distribution of number of ACs. You know the concept of playing cards. In the previous video clip, already discussed about playing cards. Isn't it? So there are 52 playing cards. In 52 playing cards divided by 4, each part is known as one suit. In one suit contains 13 playing cards. There are four suits. There are four shades, namely club, diamond, heart, then spade. Okay. Now here the out of 52 playing cards, 22 cards are black color, 22 cards are red color cards. Okay. In one suit contains 13 cards. Numbering 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. One number represented by instead of 1 by taking that is A, A's. Then 11 number represented by J. Then 12 number represented by Q, Q. 13 number represented by K, K. So there are in out of 52 playing cards, how many ACs? 4 ACs. Okay. How many charts? 
Gas is to the very four gas. How many queens? Four queens. How many kings? Four kings. Now here, find the probability distribution of number of ACs. Only two cards are drawn. Two cards are drawn. Now here, let X represent. Let X denote the number of ACs. Then x can take the values number of cases of a random variable. Then x can take the values. No random also it is random. Here the card pick my value. A car say I will go a survey. He now no the error card pick my value. Yes, but they are both time. Two cards are drawn. No yes. So no yes. And the end of x can take the value. First possibility is no yes, zero yes. Okay. Again possibilities. Here two cards are drawn. One card is yes, another card is not yes. So one possibility is luckily both the cards are yes. So possibility is two. So that x can take the values. No yes, one yes, two yes. Three possibilities. Okay. We got random variable. Now to find probability of that random variable. Okay, take one by one. Now, P of at x equal to 0. At x equal to 0 means what? P of no s, that is non s and non s. Two parts of You are only s about it. So that is P of non s, non s into P of non-S. Why you take into and is denoted by intersection by using independent event P of A intersection B equal to P of A to P of B. Okay. Now that is equal to P of non-S, non-S and P of non-S. Just I will say non-S. Totally how many cards? 52 play cards. Out of 52 play cards, Four cards are A's cards. Now card with the value. Out of 52, 48 non A's cards. Correct? Right? 48 by 52 into 48 by 52. What I tell you? Totally 52 playing cards. Out of 52 playing cards, four cards are A's cards. Now we go on to the remaining cards are non A's cards. We will tell you non A's cards. 48 by 52, 48 by 52. Simplify, that is a 4 12s are 4 1s are 4 13 are 4 12s are 4 13 are that is 12 into 12 divided by 13 into 30 that is 144 divided by 169. So P of x equal to is 144 by 169. Okay, next one P of and x equal to 1. That is P of x equal 1 means what? 1 is another card is non is. Either 1 is non is or non is and 1 is. Possibilities. P of x equal 1 means 1 is and non is. Possibilities. Or P of what they call non is equal to another one is a sign. Correct? That is. Simplify P of S into P of non S, right? Or means union, that is plus P of non S into P of S. At the end, P of X equal 1 means, you card pick one card S equal to equal for non S equal to. first card is non S, second card S. So P of 1 S and non S. P of non S and S. That is P of S into P of non S or plus P of non S into P of S. Now that is P of S. How many S cards? Among 52 playing cards, total outcome is 52. Out of 52 playing cards, how many S cards? 4 S cards. That is 4 by 52. P of non S. Not S cards together, non S cards is 48. 48 by 52. Correct? 
that P of known is 48 by 22 into A squared 4 by 22 simplify 4 by 1 4 by 10 4 by 1 4 by 10 1 by 13 into 12 by 13 plus 12 by 13 into 1 by 13 simplify 1 into 12 12 divided by 169 plus 12 divided by 169 LCM is 169 12, 12 plus 12 24 by 169 Okay, then another random variable P of at x equal to 2 At x equal to 2 means both the parts are yes parts P of yes and yes Here are yes parts are Both are yes parts That is P of yes into P of yes now, how many S cards? 4 S cards among 52 brain cards. P of S, 4 by 52, 4 into 4, or simplify 4 1 the, 4 13 the, 4 1 the, 4 13 the, 1 1 the, 1, 13 into 13, 169. We got 12 of S. Now, write the table. Therefore, probability, probability distribution. Probability distribution is x can take the value 0, 1, 2, p of x is equal to at x equal to 0, how much? p of at x equal to 0 is 144 by 169. Correct? p of at x equal to 1, 24 by 169. p of at x equal to 2, 1 divided by 169. This is the Probability distribution. Check it. Very common knowledge. Look, correct it. Then definition of probability distribution. Here, look. Two conditions are satisfied. What are those two conditions? Each probability should be more than or equal to zero. Second condition: summation of p of x i i is equal to one to n should be one. Sum of all probabilities one and each probability should be more than or equal to zero. Check it. Each probability 144 by 169 is it more than or equal to 0 or not? Yes. 24 by 169 more than 0 or not? Yes. 1 by 169 more than 0 or not? Yes. First condition holds. Second condition sum of all probabilities at all. Now among these three, what is the LCM? LCM is 169. Here 144 plus 24 plus 1. And 144 plus 24, 168. 168 plus 1. 169 divided by 169 cancel that is 1. Both the conditions are satisfied. Hence, it is probability distribution. Simple like that. Part of the Next problem number 4. <coughs> Find the probability distribution of first one number of heads in two tosses of a coin. Second one number of tails. In the simultaneous tosses of three coins, if two coins are tossed, first question, find the probability distribution of number of heads. And second question, if three coins are tossed, find the probability distribution of number of tails. Simultaneous tosses of three coins. Now look here. So first one, two coins are tossed. You know that two coins are tossed. What are the sample space? S is equal to totally four sample space H H H P P H and P. Correct? Huh? So total number of outcome is four. Right? Let X denote the number of heads. Number of heads. Then X can take the values. No real work X can take the values. Ah. Two points are tossed. Number of X in two tosses of a coin. Maximum two X. Okay. So two points are tossed. Here will head be there. No head. So take the values zero. Zero means no head. One head, one tail. Chance is done. Then luckily. Both are X, isn't it? Here the point cross Maradaga. Head very there go to one head to one the tail go to the two tail, the two head tail go to. So possible values of X are 0, 1, 2. 
we got the random variable therefore take one by one now p of that x equal to 0 that is p of that x equal to 0 means what? no head x equal to 0 means no head now that is equal to no head head will be out in our ring we don't head today we head today we head head today we don't head today so that is only one p of t t that is probability of only one head that is no head one t t no head is there so what is the name so probability is one how come is one by four next p of at x equal to one at x equal to one means what one head okay one head one day head here one day head here is on the hp right what is on the th get it right now that is two favorable case outcome is four right next p of at x equal to two p of at x equal to two at x equal to two means what both are head two heads at x equal to two means two heads that is P of 2 heads are there, H, H only, that is 1 divided by 4. We got the probabilities. Therefore, probability distribution of probability distribution of random variable random variable is x can take the value 0, 1, 2 then probability of x at x equal to 0 probability is 1 by 4 at x equal to 1 probability is 2 by 4 at x equal to 2 probability is 1 by 4 this is the probability distribution of random variable 2 x number of x in 2 process of a point similarly second one is going to be same type 3 points are tossed you know that three coins are tossed. What are the outcomes? How many outcomes? Eight outcomes. What are those? Sample space S is equal to all three coins are head, all three coins are tail, one head, two tail, one head, tail, head, right? Then head, head, tail, okay, head, tail, tail, possibilities, tail, head, tail, right? Tail, tail, head. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 outcomes. Right? Now, total number of outcomes is 8. 3 points are tossed, 8 outcomes. Among those 8 outcomes, yes, point to go to number of tails in simultaneous process of 3 points. Okay. Now, more more point toss model, tail concentrate model, more point toss model, toss model, more point. Tail is there for head is there for so let x denote x denote the number of tails of random variable then x can take the values x can take the values in number of tails or no x can take the values tails concentrate power possible there is no tail more point cross on a tail of the more head here for the one point head for the tail for the inner one head head here for the time yellow point on the tail here for the one point head here for the lucky more point tail for the time so possible values of x are no tail only one tail two tail three tail not four tail because three points are passed possible outcomes are possible or x can take the values are zero point two now to find 1 by 1. Now P of at x equal to 0. At x equal to 0 means what? In the meaning, you know, no tail. Tail is little. 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 Only one. That is P of at x equal to 0. So that is probability of the value is 1. Total of the is 8. 1 by 8. Correct? P of at x equal to 1. At x equal to 1 means what? In the meaning of that is P of 1 tail. 1 day tail error count money. 1 tail error the other day. P of 1 tail. HTX. Correct? Delay. HHT. Only 1 tail. Here. HTG 2 tail limit. THT 2 tail limit. TTX 2 tail limit. Only 1 tail. So, whatever case is 2. Outcome 
is it? Two fewer will take. Not come is it? Then P of at x equal to 2, no need. That is, P of at x equal to 2 means what? Two tails. Then the tail error from party. Two tails. Only two tails. Here, h, e, t, two tails. Here, x, h, one tail. This is one tail. This is two tail. h, t, t. Right? This is two tail. p, h, t. Again, that is one also. Two tail, p, d, h. That is equal to count it 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 favorable tails. Outcome is it? 4 by 8. Then, one more. p of at x equal to 3. At x equal to 3 means what? 3 tails. More tail error than the other one. P of P, P, D. One day, one day. One day. If you go out, here are tail one tail. That is, favorable case is one. Outcome is eight. We do not have probabilities. Therefore, therefore, probability distribution of, therefore, probability distribution of, probability distribution is x 0 1 2 3 p of x p of x at x equal to 0 how much so what is the price today p of x at x equal to 0 is 1 by 8 right p of at x equal to 1 how much 2 by 8, P of that x equal to 2, how much? 4 by 8, P of that x equal to 2, how much? 1 by 8. This is the probability distribution. Check it, verify. Two conditions are satisfied in probability distribution. What are those? Each probability should be more than or equal to 0. Correct? Right? Second condition, sum of all probabilities must be 1. Check it, each probability, 1 by 8. 2 by 8, 4 by 8, 1 by 8 should be 1 hour per 0. Condition 2. Sum of all probabilities L only at body. LCM of these 4. That is 8. 1 plus 2. Plus 4. Plus 1. How much? 1 plus 2, 3. 3 plus 4, 7. 7 plus 1, 8. Divided by 8. That is equal to 1. Two conditions are satisfied. Clearly it is. Probability distribution. I have wondered about that. So remember. Definition of probability distribution Two conditions are satisfied Namely, each probability should be More than or equal to zero Condition number two Sum of all probabilities must be one Then it is said to be Probability distribution of random variable Based on that, by solving four problems Okay, so next class We will discuss some more problems Based on probability distribution of random variable Okay, thank you